guys <laughs> karibuni tena katika channel yangu na leo nime kuja ku kuambia my experience during this pregnancy season or period whatever that is so now i'm seven month pregnant it's like yesterday when i found out that i was pregnant and today is seven months already like already already okay so i have a couple of things that i want to talk to, to you guys ni kuna vitu ambavyo na taka kushare with you during this pregnant season na ni vitu vya kawaida of course ambavyo tunaambiwa na wazazi na wanawake wenzetu tunaelekezwa tunafundishwa so ni vitu vya kawaida na nikianza na na vitu kama vi sita hivi vya kuelezea ambavyo ni experience niliyopata kipindi kicha ujauzito and nikianza kwanza na symptoms ama dalili so at first ni i didn't know kwamba i was pregnant actually nilipitiliza mwezi and i was okay because mzungu kwangu mara nyingi huwa unaruka nachelewa and i was so free about it yani i was so normal <laughs> unajua so one time goes and nikasema unajua kuna kipindi hadi unasahau kwamba sikuingia period kwa kipindi unakumbuka if it's ingia period hadi leo eh? so nika nikasema like sijaingia period hadi leo what is wrong with me but nilikuwa nina mchovu kuna vitu nikawa spendi kula and i was sleepy a lot na kipindi hicho nilikuwa naenda kazini so nilikuwa nachoka sana but nikapima kupima i found out i was pregnant you know the feelings when you just found out you are pregnant the feeling is like oh okay i didn't plan about this but it just happened and it's a blessing so what should i do what should i do i have nothing to do than keeping it so nilivyo jua nikasema it's fine so i'm mature now i'm going to be somebody different um, ignore those babies nikiwa na film ndo anacheza nikiwa si film hawachezi so the devil is just coming through basi nilivyo jua and nikasema it's fine i need to keep it kwa sababu i think ni muda umefika na muda wa bwana ukifika hakunaga kupindisha vitu basi those are the symptoms the symptoms dalili nizo ziona kwamba nilikuwa na sinzia sipendi sometimes i feel so tired na kuna vitu nilikuwa nachagua but nilivyojua kwamba i was pregnant I take it as it is and I'm so thankful for that. Clinic and checkups. Yes. Nilianza clinic nikiwa na miezi minne. Na nilisi kwamba nitakuwa nimechelewa kwanza clinic. I was so scared siku nilioenda kwanza clinic. Na kumbe it's very normal kwanza kwa muda huo kwa sababu wakati naanza you know mkiwa mmekanje unauliza labda wale wa mama wengine waloka wanasema ah oh, Ukianza kwa mfano ukianza clinic mwezi wa kwanza unaweza ukarukisha mwezi fulani usije mwezi wa pili labda usije uje watatu it depend kwa sababu mimba bado inakuwa changa though ni very nice kuanza clinic mapema lakini some of the doctors wanakurukisha mwezi uje labda mwezi ule kwa sababu the baby is still small lakini wewe kwa miezi minne it's a perfect time to start a clinic so nilipoingia kwa doctor nikasema like doctor nimechelewa kaniambia no it's a very <laughs> nice time ulivoanza na nikaanza checkups and everything na i was so happy kwa kweli kwa sababu 
during those four months ambazo nikuwa sijaanza was so down and nikuwa nasema hivi why I didn't start clinic lakini nikuwa na, na kilia nianze wapi hospitali ipi ama same gani ambavo nita weza kupata na maybe deliver and kila kitu wapu wapu but yeah so I started the clinic and it was so fantastic, honey. The experience kongea na doctor. Uwa na uliza sana maswali, actually. Na doctor na nileza ndani mtoto wa mekwaje, mtoto wa nashezaje, nini chakula, na jisikia hivi. Kuna sometimes na umuwa tumbo. So doctor nasema wakisikia maumivu sana, ni vizuri kwa hospitali. Sometimes kipindi mtoto anakuwa sawa tumbo linaweza likawa linauma kwa sababu ndio mtoto anapanuka like ndio tumbo linapanuka ni mtoto anakuwa lakini si vizuri kuvumilia maumivu vitu vya kula usinywe pombe usi usinywe kahawa usinywe vitu vyenye pili pili usi, usile chumbi za kuongeza ongeza juu yani vitu ni vingi actually there is a lot and a print of things i was so happy and grateful that i'm pregnant i'm pregnant it was the best feeling ever in my life thank you the other thing the morning sickness guys nina umo sana asubui yani nikiamka asubui <sighs> ni kama nilikuwa gym ama ni kama nimelima eka kumi na choka na umwa sana sasa mikono si umwe semi ingine ya mwili sana sana from the shoulders to the fingers yani umu kono mzima unaniuma adi ya panovu ungea ni unaniuma so mwazoni nilikuwa na 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 isi hivi lakini nilipokuja kuanza kumeza dawa zile dawa ambazo tunapewa hospitali za damu ndani ni ndo ninaisi ninaumwa times but ni vitu ambavyo uwezi sasa ku avoid huwezi kuacha kwa sababu ni a very important thing to just take it and hivyo hivyo nikikaa kama masaa mawili matatu nikioga nikinywa chai I start to be relieved. Yaani naanza kujisikia vizuri kidogo. So morning sickness ni kitu ambacho kina ni tesa sana sana. Asubuhi inakuwa kama nimepigwa msumali. I don't know kama ina happen kwa watu wengine <laughs> lakini kwangu mimi naisi nimepigwa msumali wa moto. The other thing ni P kwenda kukojoa. Ah oh na kujua kila baada ya dakika tatu yani unaweza ukatoka chooni ukarudi ndani mkojo kama umekubana ukarudi chooni yani your job is toilets kazi yako ni kwenda chooni so na kipindi ambapo mtoto anaendelea kukua ni ana unaendelea kukojoa sana so naenda chooni in every three minutes na i'm just okay ni thinks that it's not normal lakini like, i'm just loving it kwa sababu <laughs> something beautiful yeah na kujua sana 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 na usiku my mom anasema utaweza kutoka kila saa kwenda chooni so just have a door or something inside the room una una ndoo yako ambao huwezi kuamka kila baada ya dakika tano ukaenda chooni utalala saa ngapi kitu kingine ni mtoto kucheza oh this baby is the happiest kid in the world. Is the happiest baby. Yani mtoto ni anacheza hivi. Hadi nikimshikilia hivi sasa hivi it's like okay sasa hivi achezi kwa sababu sijala. It's like bado sijala lakini anacheza to the maximum and I'm loving the movement and everything. Yani I feel like God, thank you so much. Unaona? Basi the first time nilikuwa nina miezi minne, miezi mitano. Nilienda clinic ya mara pili. Daktari aliniuliza mtoto anacheza. Sasa mimi nikawa sijui kuhusu mtoto kucheza. 
So kuna siku nilikuwa nimekaa ndani. Nikaona hmm. kitu tu bwana kinapita like sh sh. Ah, nikajiuliza ni nini? Kumbe ndio mtoto anavocheza. Nikawa naogopa labda what is happening? Unaona eh? Akili yangu ya mtoto kucheza nilikuwa sina wala nilikuwa sijui. So nilipenda clinic doctor akaniuliza mtoto anacheza. Hapo ndio akili ikanijia kwamba hivi kule ndio kucheza kwa mtoto. Oh. <laughs> Nikamwambia doctor kusema ukweli nilimsikia mara mbili tu. Sikujua kama huko ndio kucheza kwa mtoto. <laughs> Basi doctor akacheka akasema it's like okay it's your first pregnancy and you don't know anything lakini even to mtoto anacheza na ukiona mtoto achezi yani kimbia hospitali. Ukiona labda umekaa siku nzima mtoto achezi jua mtoto yuko kwenye hatari. So mtoto kucheza ni kawaida na inabidi iwe mara kwa mara. So hapo ndo nikajua kwamba kumbe ndio mtoto anacheza hivi. I never knew. I think even ndio vitu ambavyo I can say nime experience during this pregnancy na sometimes nikikaa sana na njaa huwa nina ninaumwa tumbo. Yaani nikasa na njaa tumbo litaniuma hadi usiku. So najitahidi within 2 to 2 two and a half hours at least in ile kitu. Na what is important mostly ni maji. And I have this. Ini ni moja na nusu. So I'm trying to finish this per day. Do you see? Save ni some I don't know if you can see. Sasa ni saa tisa. Saa tisa dakika tano dumu limeshafika hapa. So I'm going with the time 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 and I have machungwa here which I'm eating fruits every time. Hata nikiwa na record video nazungukwa na chakula. I have chapati which oh, I have chapati which nikisikia njaa na kula I have soda those soda sipendi sana na na kunywa tu for the kwa ham lakini it's not like I'm hating it it so muda mwingi huwa natumia sana ku record na natuweza ku record masaa ta manne matano hata masaa sita video tofauti so na kuwa na chakula huko na chakula huko Nikisikia njaa na kula na kula na kula na kula. Yeah guys, I think I shared a little bit about my pregnancy. Na kids kingine, I'm so thankful, so thankful for everything. Na I will just keep on praying for a safe journey, a safe delivery, a safe baby and a safe everything. Mungu aendeleke unirinda in this journey and to every woman may you be blessed with this blessing is so beautiful guys. At first unaweza ukaona it's not important kwa sababu maybe you are not ready or anything but during this pregnancy unajifunza upendo unajifunza kupenda unajifunza ku feel the love yani hii mimba ni darasa kubwa nimepata ni kama ndani ya hii miezi saba ni kama nimemaliza the degree nimejifunza vitu vingi sana nimejifunza kupenda nimejifunza kuwa na hisia nimejifunza uchungu yani nimejifunza vitu vingi nimejifunza kujipenda mimi mwenyewe nimejifunza kila kitu and i've done a shopping already unaweza kuamini kwamba nimeshamaliza shopping ya mtoto kila kitu and i will have a video about the shopping and everything that i have bought my maternity bag what i packed what yani in a print of videos guys you need to stay tuned okay so you need to stay tuned for everything and i'm so happy to be a mom i just want to cry <laughs> okay guys as i just said we're going to video na nitaona video nyingine don't forget to like subscribe and comment 
subscribe hapa liko andiko subscribe please subscribe hapo pembeni pale liko kwa kikengele mbele za kikengele upate notification kila nitakapo post video yangu pia comment hapo chini wewe umependa nini okay asante sana na nitaona video nyingine bye